This is just the first of what's to be many Artemis missions to come. How significant is the launch in and of itself? It's a historic launch. And Dom, to your point, fourth time's really the charm here. 1.47 Eastern time this morning, to be exact. This mega moon rocket built by NASA for NASA blasted off from Kennedy Space Center. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. This ushers in a new era of American space exploration. It kicks off NASA's Artemis program 50 years almost to the month after the final Apollo moon landing. Artemis 1, as this uncrewed mission is known, it marks the debut of the agency's space launch system, the SLS. It is now the most powerful rocket ever flown, and it carried to orbit NASA's deep space capsule. And that capsule, which is called Orion, is now going to embark on a 25-day journey around the moon before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean next month. It's going through tests before astronauts climb on board, ultimately as soon as 2025 to actually land on the moon. Artemis is a major program for NASA. It is a major program for the space sector. The agency's inspector general estimates that $40 billion has been spent so far from 2012 to 2021, and that that will balloon to $93 billion all in to actually put those boots on the lunar surface. The contractors, big contractors involved, include Boeing, which is the prime for the SLS, Lockheed Martin, which makes Orion, Northrop Grumman, Aerojet Rocketdyne, Jacobs Airbus, and a number of others. SpaceX is also a contractor. Just yesterday received a follow-on contract for Starship, which is being developed as the lunar portion uh, of this program to take astronauts to the lunar surface. But, Dom, just to give a little more color to the launch itself, uh, some, some drama leading into it with some technical issues around the fueling uh, and around the radar, which is part of the reason that this launch pushed back about uh, 45 minutes from its original go time. When it did actually get up in the air and lift off, Jody Gralnick, our producer on site at Kennedy Space Center right now, tells me it actually triggered car alarms uh, with the power, the thrust of this rocket lifting off. All right, so Morgan, I mean, as we're watching the videos of this uh, again, I mean, there's nothing like watching a, a rocket take off, a, a space exploration mission. It, it's what captivated so many Americans over the last several decades. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see this coming back. I, I, I guess now the, the conversation tilts a little bit more towards this part of this, I, I guess, Artemis program, which is NASA. So much of the conversation around space has revolved around the International Space Station over the last several years. A collaborative effort, a lot of countries participating. This Artemis program, though, how much do you feel as though it marks the U.S. alone and its, its, its attempts at supremacy for space all over again, right? This idea that we could be the ones that will now have the front or leading edge on that next leg of space travel and or possible colonization down the line. That's right. So I, I think there's two points to that. The first is, yes, this marks a shift from what has been focused on low Earth orbit uh, by NASA in the last several decades to go back towards deep space. We've been to the moon once. It's reestablishing that capability. And not only that, but this idea of, to your point, colonizing the moon or staying there uh, and being able to study it more closely, capitalize on resources and essentially make the moon uh, a stopping place, a, a gas station, if you will, potentially for uh, trips to Mars and, and beyond years into the future. Um, Artemis is not going to be, it's not expected to necessarily be a solely U.S. program uh, and, and mission, but it does speak to this race that's taking place. We talk about the competitiveness, the strategic competition between the U.S. and China here on Earth. That is something that is playing out uh, where the moon and where space is concerned as well. So uh, an extension, if you will, of those power competitions uh, that we see unfolding.